And now let's press end those power exercise movements. Two-handed one dumbbell, pullovers, triceps extension movement. You beginning the exercise by placing your hands on the dumbbell that is behind your head in a way that your left hand grabs totally the dumbbell while your right hand's middle and index finger grabbing the dumbbell above the index finger of your left hand while the rest of your right fingers are placed above your left hand. And you beginning the concentric phase of the movement by pulling the dumbbell further down and pushing it over your head until your arms are straight and the dumbbell is in front of your chest. Then you lower the dumbbell carefully, and you place it back to the ground behind your head, while you've been very careful when you lower the dumbbell, to be further away from your head. While we see, when we execute this movement, when you move the dumbbell over the ground, your elbows are bended at 90 degrees, and as you move the dumbbell further up, you use not only your lats and your chest, but also your triceps this way. And now, let's move from the frame shots of this movement, to the video, in which this exercise is demonstrated. When you, you can, can lift, lift in this exercise, exercise weight that, that is as close, close to your body weight. weight. If you don't performing their dragon flags, you can progress if you think it is suitable to neutral grip ring or rope. Power clean muscle ups that begin by taking the rings or rope closest to your body with your elbows not further bent to the 90 degrees and your elbows never going further back from your core's waistline. And then you pushing down using more your chest, triceps, and your abs. And then you can bring the rings or rope between your legs and perform knee rises in a way that this movement resembles a reverse dumbbell deadlift from between your legs. This movement has the same form close to when you with straight hands grab a basketball and you pulling the ball from above your head down and, and you smashing, smashing it, it to, to the, the ground. ground and also resembles in a very close proximity the two-handed one dumbbell pullovers triceps extensions movement while it has the reverse opposite form movement of the two-handed one dumbbell power clean and press you will notice that in all exercises you never bend your elbows below 90 degrees and neither placing or bringing them below your waistline because those way your joints are prone to injury and this doesn't support your overall progression and development while also you will see that Almost all of the chosen exercises are compound movements, because those can progress faster, stably, and are more resilient, and best for natural trainees. And now let's see the two-handed, one dumbbell power, power clean and press. press. Firstly, grab the dumbbell in the same way, totally with your left hand, and over your left index finger, with your right middle and index finger, while the rest fingers of your right hand grabs your left hand, while also your thumbs grab the dumbbell. First have a deep sit, while you grabbing the dumbbell between your legs, start by having an explosive deadlift, while you bringing the dumbbell with a bicep curl movement, close and above your head, until your elbows are bended, at 90 degrees. When you have brought the dumbbell over your face, and your elbows are bended at 90 degrees, start pressing the dumbbell over your head, until your elbows are straight. And after you complete the concentric part of this movement, you move to the eccentric, by bringing the dumbbell back down closer to your chest, and then further down, and back to the ground between your legs, as you see in this frame shots, that they were taken in a random day, that those exercises were performed, which can show clearly, the kinesiology of this exercise movement, and now, let's see the video, in which this exercise is demonstrated. When in this exercise you are able to lift weight, close to your body weight, you will may be able to perform, closed grip bar, handstand shoulder press, two-handed one dumbbell RT bar, deadlift, bench over movement. First have a deep sit, while you grabbing the dumbbell, or better a T bar for better range of motion, between your legs, with the same grip with both hands, as previously mentioned. In the case that you use a T-bar, the tip of your feet fingers has to be one fist with open thumb or thumb up away from the weights of the barbell, while the other side of the barbells without the weights has to be 
pushed in and down on the room's corner, then start by having an explosive deadlift, while you bringing the dumbbell or barbell's weights, with a row, in touch with your core, and then, bring it back down, and repeat until failure, when in this exercise you reach the weight close to your body weight, you will be able to perform. Front lever pull up rows with your knees close to your core. When in this exercise you are able to lift weight close to the double of your body weight or more, you will may be able to perform on a pull up bar, one hand rows with your core parallel to the ground as we demonstrate here. Two handed one dumbbell, floor, floor chest, chest press. press. Begin by sitting down at the gym mat while bringing the dumbbell between your legs, which may have been in the same weight as in the previous exercise. That may save you some time if you don't have many ready bounded to use dumbbells. And by grabbing the dumbbell with both hands the same way as previously mentioned, you bring the dumbbell in the starting position on your core by laying down slowly. And as you now have your arms bended at 90 degrees, you press the dumbbell up until your arms are straight and you repeat until failure. When you complete the set, bring the dumbbell back down between your legs. When in this exercise, you reach the weight close to your body weight. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. You may be able to perform planches with your knees close to your core. Thank you, Melina. Okay, Samantha is back. And now let's move to the four, four fitness, fitness exercises. exercises. On a pull-up bar. Front ladders. ladders. Grab the pull-up bar at shoulder width and pull your hands with your elbows straight and unbent as closer to your pelvis until the point that your strength allows your hands to go then lower yourself back down and repeat until failure when you can perform this exercise by bringing your pelvis high enough with bent knees and enough times progress by performing this exercise with straight core and legs until the height that your strength allow your hands to pull your pelvis up closer to the bar or your legs further up from the ground when you max out this exercise by being able to bring your hands at the line of your pelvis you can progress by performing gradually Victorian ring crosses, and you may later on try triceps extensions from this position. On deep bars, shoulder front rises. rises. Rise your pelvis up by pushing yourself up from the dip bars with your hands elbows straight until the point of height that your strength allows your hips to go, which you can note as your working resistance and repeat until failure. You max out this exercise by being able to bring your pelvis vertical with the ground and then further extend your legs upwards. You can progress by performing gradually. Shoulder front rises on the floor or on a bar. With your core and legs been aligned, you push your body up until it is vertical to the ground on a handstand position. On deep bars, hand jumps. Get yourself on deep bars or two platforms which resemble them and start jumping from the bars or platforms with your hands as high as your strength allows you to go for six repetitions. Jumps. Face the wall in front of you, in which you have your marked points of heights, from which you are going to reach. 1. At the peak of your jump, start by having a deep sit with your hands fists touching the ground, and begin your explosive upward jump, and while you're reaching the top position in the air with your hands extended upwards touch the highest marked point on the wall, and repeat for 6 repetitions, in the end note down the highest marked point, at which, you was able to reach on those jumps. At the end of all your physical exercises, perform external, external shoulder, shoulder rotations, rotations for strengthening your posture and core overall balance, especially if you work many hours sedentary. One handed external, external shoulder, shoulder rotations. rotations. Start by having your elbow bend it at 90 degrees and your arm at your core's line level, and from there externally rotate your forearm and hand until at the end of the concentric phase, your forearm is also at your core's line level and your hand's thumb is pointing upwards. Then move to the eccentric phase of the movement by bringing the dumbbell slowly at the starting position, back down, and for one hand at the time, repeat until failure. The progression step for this exercise so far, which is performed with a 15 kilogram dumbbell, is a 2.5 kilograms per progression. As we see this exercise can be performed on the floor, bed, and stand it with your hand at your knee. You can choose one of those variations. I suggest you the one on the bed or bench. External, external shoulder, shoulder rotation, rotation squeezes. squeezes. Stand it up with your forearms and arms at your core's line level, with your fist close by your thumb squeezing at the first joint of your index finger by your thumb pointing outwards and head's chin close to your neck and chest. Squeeze your trapezius for nine consecutive breaths. And the sort interval, stamina and body weight exercises, exercises, which I don't suggest because they don't support your strength gains in the long run, are 
On the dick bars, back and forth, hand walking. Get yourself on dick bars, or two platforms which resemble them. Start walking back and forth the length on those bars. While you counting the number of times that she was able to walk back and forth for comparing this distance with the distance of last times that you performed the same exercise. Running at a close by distance for three minutes and 33 seconds. If you want, you can have your running at distance around your house, to a park, or around the destination of your choice. 